What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review. Today we're talking about a special film that has a lot of buzz behind it and rightfully so. And this film is I Care A Lot which is going to be dropping on Netflix February 19th. So yes, this film I Care A Lot has already been nominated in the 2021 uh, Golden Globes uh, nominations in which uh, Rosamund Pike who's your lead actress in this film, is being nominated for Best Performance by Actress in a Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy, which is definitely not a musical, and, like, I don't think it's a comedy, but we'll just go with that. Um, but nonetheless, her performance was stellar and well-deserving of this nomination. With that being said, uh, the entire cast is star stutter You have Isa Gonzalez in this. You have uh, Peter Dinklage in this as well, just to name a few. Um, and they all just really mesh together really well. And they, up and down the board, all put together a really good, solid performance. Even supporting uh, characters and, and cast members just do a really good job in their minimal roles. So, like, it all comes together really, really good. And um, beyond that, just the whole construction of the film comes together good. The writing's good. The directing's good. Um, again, the acting performances is good, cinematography, uh, the score, all of it comes together really good. And with that being said, I thought this film was really good. Not a film that I will go check out numerous times. So I will say like on a grading scale, which I really never really do, it's a B plus for me. It's really good. But I will say this, my issues with the film is a lot more personal, person, <laughs> a lot more personal than you know just reviewing the film and by that i'm saying like i'm gonna talk about like the premise of this but i gotta say like i really had a lot of issues with the premise of this film while it is intriguing while the film is good this is more of a discussional piece here of of this review so like let me just make this pretty pretty uh straight and forward check this film out it's an absolute solid film but if i was going to have a little breakdown or discussion with this film like a lot of my thoughts are personal, and I don't think it should really, um, it it should re be really a stigma attached to the film because it is what it is, and that's what, um, you know, regardless of what it is, you, you tell the story, and if you tell the story good, then you did a good job. I'm gonna kind of like make this make sense to you all, if you, for anybody who's a pro wrestling fan or, or watch upon a time watch wrestling, you know, there's a good guy which is a baby face and a bad guy which is a heel. The bad guy, which you never typically like, you don't like them because they're doing a good job at, 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 at drawing you to not like them. So some of the best heels of all time, the most hated people in the world, they're good at doing that because they've done a good job in doing so. And that's, you know, proper good storytelling. It's basic fundamentals and good guy versus bad guy. The good guy saves the day. The bad guy, you hate him. You want them to lose, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. With that being said, in this film, let me tell you what this is about. So you have a court-appointed legal guardian who's played by um, Rosamund Pike, her character Marla Grayson, who defrauds her older senior citizen clients. What she does is that she traps them under their care. She removes them out of their homes, puts them into a senior home, and now she becomes the guardian, the legal guardian of them and their estate. Therefore, that means that she targets specific ones of value, puts them under their care, puts them in the senior home, out of their will. She got the whole system working for her, and then she just cashes out on all of their property. So, what, and what happens in the story now is that she targets ones who comes with a lot more baggage than, than she expected. So what, what I'm basically saying is you have her character, uh, uh, Rosamund's character, Marla, who is a con artist? Who is a complete scum of the world? She's a scammer. She is targeting senior citizens and their health, or lack thereof health, shall I say, taking them out of their comforts of their home. They're all considered cash value to her, putting them into a senior home, taking all their possessions and selling it right under them, pulling the rug from right up under them and making money for herself. And like this film is completely glorifying the bad guys. They really, really are. They're glorifying the bad guys. I've never seen a film like this in such a long time where the bad guys actually win or the bad guys are considered the heroes. Like it's it's really, really crazy that how they like portraying in that such. And then when you start adding in other details, such as like the the antics that happens in the courtroom, 
just the access to privilege and the connections that she all makes it's just flat out ludicrous and unbelievable so the point that like when you're watching this and you're like trying to equate this into a real world scenario and then you're looking at the shenanigans that's happening around it that is clearly impossible but yet you're still watching the film and you're having to decipher all of that it just gets so triggering the first 30 minutes is so triggering that i almost was so upset i just wanted to pause the film and just take a lap around because like i was just that triggered by it but at the same time too that's like that's where the good acting is coming from because i'm so triggered by a bad guy in the film but at the same time too like i also feel like it's an oxymoron with the title i care a lot when tip when she you know she says in the film that she cares about her family and loved ones but she only has one loved one and when they do show somebody of her family she completely is like don't care about them so like she really doesn't care a lot because all of these older people who lives, you know, who's coming up on, you know, the really critical parts of their lives who need the most love and support and care, they're just treated as cash values. And like, that's kind of heart crushing watching that. Like it really, really is. It's like the way how they shoot it, you can't help but to be emotionally invested like I am. So with that being said, um, she just the, the acting is such a fantastic job that you're just gonna be triggered and hyped just like I am. Like I'm absolutely triggered, folks. You can you can tell. But um, there's also some other shenanigans that happens in this film that I'm just kind of like, what? Like there's this whole thing with her tooth, and I really don't get it, and I think it's just absolutely ridiculous and unnecessary. But I will talk about some other good things that's happening in this. The character Marla Grayson, again played by uh, uh, Rosamund Pike. I love the fact that she defies all the stereotypes. She is a strong woman. She is not intimidated by man, men. She can stand toe to toe with any man. And she she does it on her own. She's in, in no need of a white knight or a savior or any of that sort in order to do what she has to do. And her partner, uh, which is another woman, I love the fact of being able to show um, a lesbian relationship on the screen and them both being truly successful. So I love that display of love. And I love, um, again, how uh, they built her up to be a strong woman. So I really, really, really do uh, appreciate that. But again, with that being said, she's still a bad person. She's still a scum. And she should, by no means should have been glorified as a hero. So you will have to see how this all plays out because like, it gets very triggering um, but nonetheless, it is a really good film. And I think when a film can invoke reactions from its audience, then it did a good job. And when the actor can really get under your skin, they're doing a good job. And I think that up and down the board, um, this film is really, really good. Again, B+, plus, I really don't have much of a desire to check it out again. But uh, <clears throat> by checking it out, absolutely was a fantastic film. And um, I think a lot of other people should uh, check this out as well. And then I, I, I couldn't even end this review without talking about my guy, Peter, uh, who is just a certified G in this. And I just think that, you know, Peter Dinklage just does any role that he does. He's just so good at it. Every character, he makes it his. And this is just another uh, pack, a plaque on the wall. He just does a fantastic job as well in this too. So, but yeah, folks, check out I Care A Lot. February 19th is on Netflix. Uh, come back in the comments. Let me know how triggered you are or am I overreacting? Tell me if I'm overreacting, please tell me so. Uh, we all have elders in our family and we all want to protect them when we love them. And knowing that there's a potential threat of this magnitude happening out there is really scary. And it really got under my skin. So seeing that really was uh, bothersome. But yeah, it's a film. I get it. And um, it's a good film. And I just want you to make sure that, you know, despite everything I said in this review, that you understand that it's a good film. So definitely check it out. But anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching my review. And I'll catch you all very soon.